but your voice is not hidden from here. <laughs> ah, so, right. First of all, we are going to have to see the bride's mom. She is beautiful. Let's just put our hands together and she can see. Not stop us from proceeding. Please, you answer. I don't. Melford, is there any reason that we cannot proceed? Yes, Sasha, is there any reason that we cannot proceed? I don't. Thank you. Yes, now I now come to Melford. This is just a declaration of consent. Will you, Melford? Now I want you just to hold hands. I want you just to hold hands and face each other. We haven't started on the edge. Yes. Look, look at you and smile and she's all yours. You have forsaken all other girls and settled for her. And you are in it, brother. You can't get out. Yes. So, Melford, will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her. So as long as you both shall live, if so, you will answer, I will. I will. Yes. yes. Sasha the bride, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all other men, and be faithful to him, so long as both shall live? If so, you answer. I will. I will. Yeah. And to the congregation. 
Listen, I will kindly ask you to stand up. Please, I will kindly ask you to stand up. And now to all of us who are witnessing, Melford and Sasha, will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? If so, please say, we will. We will. Thank we will. you so much. You may sit down. You may sit down. You may sit down. Yes, now we are just preparing for them to, <coughs> to exchange their marriage vows, but we, we haven't gone down to the ring, but it's just the vows. And these guys have prepared their own vows, which are coming deep down from their hearts. And, but why do we make wedding vows? Every covenant is established through words. So our words do more than hold us publicly accountable. They also cause an impact in the spirit realm. So wedding vows are words that come from the heart, revealing the commitment to love one another for the rest of your lives. This covenant is established in the spirit realm. So through your dual confession and spoken promises, you establish the covenant of marriage. And now I want to ask the assistant with the vows for Melfoot to come and assist as, Mel as Melfoot declares his vow to his beloved mm. Sasha. Mm. Can you go? Can you go home, man? Say those words deep from your heart. I want to start by saying how lucky I, I feel to have found you. When I look at you, I see home. You are beautiful, funny, selfless, and caring. Let's go. I love how we approach life as a team. I love your, I love your family, and I love how you love mine. With all these things that I love about us. I can't wait to enjoy life as you. I can't wait to enjoy you as my wife. Yes. I know I will, I know I will, always, I will not always be what, what you want me to be. I might forget to listen or forget to share. I might not always agree. I might, I might be stubborn and I might be wrong-headed. But I will always love you. I will, I will always strive to be the man you believe me, you believe I can be. In in Genesis it states, therefore shall man leave his fa father and mother and cleave unto his wife. Today you become my my family, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, for all for all time and under God. I humbly give you all that I am and pray that you take me as I am and, I, and will teach me to love you. I will, I, will be your, I will be your willing copio and your devoted servant as long as we shall live. I love you, Camisa.
really, as, as we wait, we just want to acknowledge all those we have traveled from far and wide, from overseas, from the rest of New Zealand, to come and support these two. Thank you so much for coming. We want to appreciate uh, the Gandiwa family, and we want to appreciate uh, the Philly Mohela family. Thank you so much for coming. And we also appreciate our Gui, the, the elderly in our meetings. You know, in our culture in Africa, we respect so much those, those who are elderly. And now, I live all the time to the bride to say your oath to this wonderful man. Nothing, then I lie. Last one's gonna be oh. You have proven to me that there is a God. Because as I look into your eyes today, it's as if he is standing where you are. You reflect so much of him that every day feels like heaven. Thank you for always being so patient with me and for always ensuring me that I am safe. Thank you for loving all of me and for having enough love for our families. I promise to pray for you always, uplift you and strengthen you. I promise to bring you the sun on cloudy days, rainbows through the storm. Muriwa Wangu, my darling, Thank you for choosing me to live not only this life together, but all the lives to follow. I love you so much. Yes, let's move the lead. Yes, let's Yes, in the interest of time, we just want to proceed. We just want to proceed. They can't wait to be husband and wife. Yes, they can't wait. Yes, our Lord Jesus taught us at the beginning of creation. God made the male and female. And for this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. According to the book of Matthew 19 verse 5. Consequently they are no longer two but one flesh. You have come to be made husband and wife. He is Gamiza and Timudio. <laughs> So, as you join hands, repeat these vows after me. Yes, I will start now with, of course, we'll come to the rings, but these are just the vows as we declare. Yes, the man himself. Um, say, I, Melford, take you, Frank. Take, take you, Frank. So take, take you, Sasha. Take you, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. <laughs> this day forth. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. And to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Yes. Now, Sasha. Say, I take you, Melford. I take you, Melford. To be my only wedded husband. To be my only wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. From this from this day forth. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. 
To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. In Amen. May we have the rings. May we have the rings. Yes, um, these rings are to be a sign of the voice by which this man and woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ. So though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. They are made up of precious metal, mm -hmm. reminding us that love is not cheap or common. But indeed that it can cost us dearly. So they are made in a cycle. Their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuous. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be a constant reminder for these great promises you are making today. So I will just bless the rings. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these rings which are a symbol of this covenant and marriage between Malford and Sasha. Father, I pray that you bless the rings and that they may have a blessed marriage and a great future. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Yes, now you can hand over the ring to, to Melford so that he can do the honors. And I want you, Melford, as you insert the ring on the finger of Sasha to say these words after me. Hold your ring. Yes. yes. So you follow after me. With this ring. With this ring. The symbol of our covenant. The symbol of our covenant. I marry you. I marry you. I declare it before God. I declare it before God. And and these witnesses. And these witnesses. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my wedding vows. I seal my wedding vows. I promise to live with you forever. I promise to live with you forever. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I promise to be your faithful. I promise to be your faithful. And loving husband. And loving husband. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. God is my witness. God is my witness. Amen. Amen. And it's now Sasha Stain, and you repeat after me these words. With this ring, with this ring, the symbol of our covenant, the symbol of our covenant, I marry you. I marry you. I declare it before God and these witnesses. I declare it before God and these witnesses. With this ring, with this ring. I also seal my wedding vows. I also seal my wedding vows. And promise to live with you forever. And promise to live with you forever. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. 
I promise to be your faithful and loving wife. I promise to be your faithful and loving wife. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. God is my witness. God is my witness. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, now I just kindly ask the two of them just to kneel down so that I can pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I give you all the glory, I give you all the honor. I thank you for Melfood, I thank you for Sasha. Even as I bless this world, to bless their future, Father, I give you glory and honor. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Yes, the man himself. You may kiss the bride. Yes. Yes, we are waiting for this. Take it slowly, take it slowly. Take it one and one. Of the authority vested in me, 
as the minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and in accordance with the laws of God and the government of New Zealand through the register of marriages, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Just to to sit there and help them just be on the right and you on the left. Let them sit there. I just want to give them a chance from the word of God. I know our child just give me five minutes. Five. <laughs> yes. Yeah, please, if you can bear with us, give me just a few minutes to encourage the newlyweds and even those who have been in marriage. At times, you know, you just need an encouragement. You just need an encouragement. Like, like what um, the man himself, he read from the book of Genesis. In Genesis 2, verse 24, and say that, Therefore he shall leave his father and mother, and be joined together to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. You know, the founder and president of Ford in Faith, Apostle Guti, always says that marriage is an unconditional life commitment. To an imperfect spouse or man. So you discover that, Melford, you discover that she is not perfect. And she is also going to discover that you are not very perfect. But because of the love between the two of you, you are going to work towards perfection. You are going to work towards perfection. And to Melford, I say according to the book of Ephesians 5, you are commanded by God to love Sasha. The Bible says, so husband ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. The way you love your own body is the way you should love Sasha. And also to Sasha, the same verse in, in the book of Ephesians 5.33 says, Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself. And let the wife see that she respects her husband. Respect your husband. You are not a slave, but you respect out of love. You are responding to the love. And you have to submit to your husband. I know in today's world, the moment you speak of submission, the Me Too movement rises up. But I'm telling you that submission is not a bad word. When you are submitting, you are voluntarily giving yourself through love to the one you love. And that is the order of God. And I want to say to Malfood and, and Sasha, according to the book of Jeremiah 31 verse 1, the Bible reads that I will be the God of all the families of Israel. I want to encourage you, Malfood, as the priest of the home, to make sure that God is the God of your family. That God is the God of your marriage. That God is the God of your children. Yes, I prophesy God is going to give you many children. But I want to say that in all the things that you do, always remember God. Mm -hmm. Always remember your families. Always remember your parents. If they are still alive, look after your parents. Right. Look after them so that the Lord God will bless you. Look after them so that the Lord God will bless you. But one thing for sure, to keep the fires burning, love one another. Be long suffering with one another. Be long suffering. You know, the book of Solomon, Solomon, Songs of Solomon 1 verse 2 says, Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. And says, for your love is better than wine. He, he, Mr. Melford, oh, I know you can't wait. And then David says, 
David says in the book of Psalms 127, 1-2, Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain. That who builds it. So unless God blesses your family, unless God blesses your marriage, you will labor in vain. You know we are living in a world where everybody is agitated. Everyone is angry. Technology is taking attention. Where we are supposed to be loving each other, we are busy with technology. But please, I want to submit to you today that whatever challenges you are going to meet in life, look up to God, pray to God, and the God of peace will bless you. Who oh, bless you. Before I close, I just want to read this blessing to you. And I say according to the book of number 6, Verse 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I am so blessed to see the young guys. You are so smart. Ah, you are looking wonderful, the girls. But please, tomorrow, if you are free, Never forget to go to church and worship God and thank God for this day. I love you all. I now hand over this time to our authorities. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for our celebrants. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've been married for donkey years, uh, but I'm enjoying my, my marriage. Could be good. Bad things happening, a lot of things happening, like what the celebrant said. You have to persevere. That's what marriage is all about. And after all, what do you say in Tonga? Koe mali koe masaiha. I don't know what it means. Well, moving on to the next. Okay. Yes, just before I sit down, please, I hand over to you, Mr. and Mrs. Gandiwa. our celebrants. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you so much everyone for coming. We really appreciate your presence here. Uh, so, in the meantime, we can't do anything without prayer. Like what our celebrant said. We have to include prayer in everything. Giving thanks to our creator. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching now. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to leave this time to Selecti Manukia, just to bless us with a word of prayer before the bridal team goes out for their wedding photos. Let's put our hands together as our uncle comes. Thank you, Malonle, everyone, and um, congratulations to Milford and uh, Sasha. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful uh, ceremony, and uh, we've uh, really enjoyed uh, the, the festivity and, and being here to celebrate this time together. I'm Sasha's uncle, Seleti Manukia Nam. They've asked me to, to offer a prayer for us today. So let us pray. <clears throat> our loving Father in heaven, we are very grateful for this opportunity to give thanks for the beautiful time that we've had uh, so far with. Uh, Milford and Sasha. We're grateful for the blessings um, of these two young um, daughter and son of thine who have come to a union today to celebrate together with uh, their families. Uh, two families uh, coming into to one and we're grateful for the strength and the spirit that we have felt and throughout this ceremony. We pray for a special blessing upon Sasha and also Milford that they may be blessed with strength, blessed with courage, blessed with faith, 
faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that they may, as the pastor have mentioned, build their house upon our Saviour Jesus Christ. So that when the storm comes, that they will have the strength and the ability to withstand. We love our Saviour Jesus Christ and we know that He is the man that will bring us much joy and happiness throughout this lifetime. And we pray that as Sasha and Milford begin their journey together as husband and wife today, we pray that as, as one big family that we, will, we may offer the love and support that they may need in going forward to find true happiness and joy in this life. We are grateful uh, for the Saviour's example. And we pray that we may follow him and keep his commandments and do the best that we can to be happy in our journey through life. We pray, Heavenly Father, that thy blessings may be upon Sasha, Milford and the both families and that we may enjoy the festivities and enjoy the blessing of this day together with this uh, <clears throat> young couple today. We love the Heavenly Father and we acknowledge all the many blessings that are ours. Bless those who are sick and afflicted, who are in need of thee at this time, that thy comfort and peace may be upon them. We ask thee for these blessings, humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. My Lord. Do you say Malo? Melo, Malo. Right, Malo. Thank you so much. So now we are going to see uh, the bridal team as they go uh, to have their photos taken. 